Yeah. I first heard of Adam, I got an email from um, <coughs> our keyboard player, Spike, whose wife, uh, they live in the desert, and his wife said, get in here. And there's <laughs> a guy on the TV that you have to see. And he, he went in and was blown away. And you were doing Led Zeppelin, a uh, whole lot yeah. of love. Yeah, and, that was uh, a fun week. Yeah. And he emailed me and said, you've got to see this guy. He's fantastic. Aww. And he is. You know, I think it was, it was luck and, and timing and, and also the fact that I, I chose to sing Bohemian Rhapsody for that American Idol audition, which sort of set the ball rolling. But I think there's just some similarities in character. I, 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 I've read books about Freddie, I've seen films, I've watched him on stage. I think, I think the things that he loved about performing are very similar to the things that I love about performing and, and the freedom that he had with the audience has given me a lot of permission to also be free and ridiculous and camp and silly and, and grand and dramatic and all the, all the things that Freddie was, it was all theatrical and, and larger than life and, and, and fashion and, and pomp and circumstance and those are all the things that I love about performing. So I think it just worked out that, that we had a bit in common as performers and, and, mm. and a range thing, you know, I like to sing high and loud. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just, it's sort of fate in a way. I don't know if I would say I'm channeling. I said, I, I, I think more that it, right place, right time. And, uh, and also an amazing connection with these two gentlemen. You know, we've grown as, as, as a family. You know, we've been working together now for years and traveling the world and sharing meals together and jokes and stages yep. and yeah. incredible audiences. And, it works. It just flows. I think it's fair to say, it, it's a hard question to answer. A lot of, a lot of things look different, uh, but are the same. And a lot of things look different, and a lot of things look the same, and they're different. Um, we have a little more luxury than we used to have. You know, we allow ourselves to treat ourselves well these days, because <laughs> it's important to stay healthy on tour. Um, but uh, the accoutrements are, you know, the requirements are the same, right? You entertain these people for two hours and you do it the best way you can. So we get all the new, all the new toys we can find and we use them in a, in a way which we, you know, we're as creative as possible with, you know, everything centers around the music as it always was. And we have a front man who can deliver. Yeah, I mean, production has really changed a lot. I mean, uh, the, the lights and the, the things you can do now, uh, you have a, a much broader palette and, and the, the technology is, has, has really come on. But we don't use all of it. We, 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 we play, we don't play to a click track. A lot of people do. Um, uh, it's 100% live, yeah, which is rare live these days, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I remember being accused by the New York Times of uh, our harmonies were suspiciously good. <laughs> I thought that was Sorry. an outrageous thing to <laughs> <We're> say. Just, <laughs> yeah. We just practiced. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah. too, the thing that, that, that people should know is that if they came to the North American tour a couple years back, um, obviously we will still be playing the big hit songs that you know and love from Queen, but we thought it would be good to challenge ourselves to kind of change it up a little bit, the show, you know, change the visual, change the staging, change all the technology, change the set list to some degree. Um, I think we'll probably be yeah. pulling out some other songs from the Queen catalog that we have not done together before, right. which I'm very excited about, yeah. new challenges. And it will look almost entirely different yeah. to the show we took around North America before. They have a private jet, and it's really nice. You know, yeah. I gotta tell you, when I do my, my solo stuff, I'm on a bus. So <laughs> when I tour with Queen, I'm like, this is nice. <laughs> yeah, it's all about looking after yourself, isn't it, really? Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the way to do it. But you know, we have fun as well. There's some rock and roll in there still, oh, trust. Yeah. I mean, yeah. people ask me, yeah. my friends ask me, they're like, so like, that, you know, that, do you guys that, like that, party? That, and I'm that. like, yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those jet rides are pretty rowdy, yeah. I'm going to say. Yeah. When I pulled that tequila bottle out and we start doing rounds of shots, <laughs> and Brian looks at me like, 
And yeah. I go, come on. He goes, <laughs> all right. I enjoy listening to Adam warming up. You know, that's part of my pre-show thing. You know, he's... <laughs> Got to get, no, no. got to get those chords going. No, no, we just get ready. I mean, I don't know about you, Rose, but we just, you know, you, you sort yourself out, really. You, know. you have to have a ritual throughout the day. Like, I can't eat before I go on stage. There's stuff yeah. like that. You have to have a certain kind of order to do things. But as long as, like Roger said, you, you sleep enough, you eat enough, you eat healthy, and you, you just keep a grip on yourself, then there's nothing to stop you having fun. And then two shots of scotch before you go on. Not bad. I, I think too, I, you know, for me, like definitely I try to warm up vocally because there's a lot of singing to do. And then I, I, I like getting ready for the show on my own. I sit at a mirror, I fix my hair, I fix my face. The focus I fix, thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's sort yeah. of, I, I think it comes from being in theater because most theater kids, you know, get themselves ready with the guide of, you know, what the costume and makeup designer wanted or whatever. But Part of my joy in getting to be on stage with these guys is is the the presentation. I mean, that's definitely a big part of Queen's draw, you know, and fashion and and the outrageousness and the and the glam of it all is one of the things I love about the band, and one of the things I think is very important about what Freddie brought to the band. Um, in the '70s, it was Ultra. androgynous and it was witchy and. And then into the 80s, he really went for that, you know, leather daddy look. And it was, he was very thematic in his styling and his, and his ideas. So that's something that I try to, try to keep up, you know. And, and, and doing that, getting ready is such a ritual, you know. It gets mm. you in the zone. Killer Queen, is, the way we've been doing it, is is really silly. I mean, it is like the mm -hmm. most over the top it could possibly be. Uh, it's my chance in the set to just be a complete <laughs> ass um, and ridiculous. And I think that at that point we do it for, far enough into the set where I think I've earned the audience trust at that point, or I try to. Mm. And so Killer Queen is just as camp as it can be and flamboyant and, and it's so much fun. It's great to get people laughing, you know, especially in today's world where there's a lot of things that stress people out and disappoint people and scare people. To bring some joy and some levity, it's, that's like the greatest gift that we have, I think. Adam's kind of modest about this, really, because he, I, I would say he kind of disarms the audience by doing this, but at points later in the show he'll do something like Who Wants to Live Forever and pull out this grand passion and, and really break people's hearts. And I think that's what, you know, there are so mm. many dimensions to Adam, which is, of course, what fits with our music. We need that, you know, and, we, and he, he can get down and, and do the rock stuff really dirty, you know. It's, it's all great. So you have all those dimensions. And, and, and I think, the, like he says, he gets permission from the audience. It doesn't take him very long to realize that he's the real deal. Very well put. Thank you.